Five beheaded bodies. That's what Pakistani troops say they found on Wednesday in the Swat Valley, where the Pakistani military is taking on the Taliban. The bodies, according to military officials, a reminder of the tactics used by the Taliban. Despite the gruesome find, the Pakistani army says they're making significant progress against the militants. On Wednesday, they say they killed another 11 militants, bringing the total to more than 760 militants killed since the operation began on Thursday. CNN cannot independently verify these figures because reporters are banned from the region. The Pakistani army also saying they've captured the base of Maulana Fazlullah, the top Taliban commander in the SWAT region. On Wednesday, CNN spoke to the Pakistan Army's top spokesperson. He says it's the tough challenge, but he likes the gains made by the Pakistani troops. It is going well. We have two uh, prongs on the ground which are closing in the valley, and they are also choking the exit routes of the militants so that they are disallowed to move out of the valley. The Pakistani military has launched offensives against the Taliban before in the Swat region. They have yet to be able to defeat them, but this time they say things will be different. In the meantime, the humanitarian crisis deteriorates. Government officials say nearly 800,000 people have fled the region. The UN this week flew in 120 tons of supplies to the region, but many refugee camps still under-equipped and a lot of displaced citizens losing patience. On Wednesday, television reports showed many of those displaced citizens in one refugee camp looting the supplies. Reza Sayah, CNN, Islamabad.